as I was discussing in a previous video, I was talking about the importance of rock solid code. And that's one of the reasons why Easy GUI is such a powerful tool, is that it provides not only a runtime uh, GUI engine that you can depend upon, but the code is solid. It really works well. You don't have to worry about strange things happening. Not that there's never a possibility that something can go wrong. That just it's just not not even reasonable to even consider that in, in, in an event environment uh, such as Windows, because you have events happening at different times, and y you have to understand how events work in Windows to appreciate this. But in general, it's a very solid library, and you can depend on it. The next step for Easy GUI was to make sure that the command set was as simple as possible. What do I mean by simple? It's hard to describe uh, the term simple in a way when it comes to programming, because programming in general is not simple. But what I mean by simple is, is that the command set needs to be something that allows you to easily remember the commands, so that after a while, well, you might not memorize all the command set, at least a core part of that command set, you should be able to literally memorize the syntax in your head and easily be able to type the code manually. Uh, the second part of easy is that the, the command itself, especially if it's something high level, needs to be something that it's not overly confusing to implement. And what I mean, mean by that is, is uh, I, I consider myself an experienced programmer. Uh, obviously, I, to, to be able to develop a product like Easy GUI, I have to be a, a well experienced with the Windows API. Well, you know, I, I'm like other programmers. I browse the internet and I, I look at uh, videos about other programmers and what they're doing and different tools and concepts and things like that. And uh, I hate to say, a lot of times I'll, I'll listen uh, to uh, some video about some computering concept, and my first reaction is, "What in the world are they talking about?" <laughs> the point is, is that computer software, well, it seems it, to some degree it is complex. To the end user, computer software is simply something that does a specific task. You know, like if you design a photo editing program, a person might say, well, you know, uh, a lot of times my photos get that red eye and I need to eliminate that. And so they look for that task. So when you build something like EasyGoo, which is a runtime engine, instead of being uh, like function or API orientated, it's task orientated. I want to accomplish a task. Uh, to give you an example, and this is a very high level feature in EasyGoo. Uh, one day I was uh, working with a, uh, a help editor program. It's a, it's a real nice freeware edit, editor that I, I, that I use. And uh, I was really impressed that when I was working with it, that uh, when I would select, uh, 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 wanted to do some like drag and drop in like a tree view control, and you have uh, an item and you, and, and you want to change the order and you, and you move it from here to there. Uh, you know, that, that was pretty cool, and I said, well, you know, that's something that's a, it's a common task. You know, if you can use a list view and tree view controls, you need to be able to do that drag and drop. But there's something that's often overlooked. It it's, seems very simple as far as the task, but to implement it code-wise is a little complex, and that is the uh, auto-scrolling. Uh, for example, you know, let's say I have a tree view, and I have so many items in it that I have to scroll through it to see all the items. Well, let's say I select an item and I'm going to start moving it and dragging it and dropping it in another position, but that position is not in view at the moment. So when I get to the top of the control, I need that control smart enough where it automatically starts scrolling so that I can see the other items to eventually find where I'm going to drop the item. Now that might seem like a simple thing, and task-wise, you know, I can describe it quite simply. You know, the end user could say, "Well, I just, you know, I need to be able to do this, and I need to scroll as I'm dragging the item up." But to actual implementation via code is not that simple a thing. So what EasyGUI will do is, is, is that I built functionality into it 
more based on task rather than just simply a bunch of simple commands. So I have a command set for the drag and drop feature of the list view and the tree view. It can automatically, you know, create the icon, drag icon, and start the drag operation, and and then when you get up to the top or the bottom, it automatically auto scrolls and all that. And it even has the ability to uh, to drag to other controls. And while it doesn't actually do the deleting or moving of the item, you, you, what happens is you get an event that says, "Okay, uh, you you've you've dragged from here to there now." do something and then you know the code to, to actually you know delete an item and, and insert it elsewhere is not that complex but do you realize that the code to implement the, the drag and drop the auto scrolling took over 600 lines of code and it's pretty complex code I mean it requires some pretty low level stuff and, and probably the average uh, power basic program for example and probably a number of you know, average C programmers probably wouldn't know how to implement it. Uh, very likely, what people are doing is is, is because of uh, some of the more these uh, more drag and drop uh, object oriented programming languages like Visual Basic. You can just drop in an ActiveX control. People are using third party controls to do this kind of stuff. They're not writing it themselves. But see, Easy GUI has it built in. So the idea of making things simple or easy is is that some tasks that, that explaining what the task is may seem simple, the actual implementation of it is quite complex. Easy GUI does it in as few commands as possible. For example, you can actually implement with one line of code that drag operation. Well, that's pretty neat compared to actually 600 lines of code in the Windows API. Well, the next thing about Easy GUI that really makes it a powerful tool is the, the its feature set. And in and, and this video, I can't really go through all its features, uh, but it, it really is extensive. And, 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 and sometimes people will compare it to other visual tools for Power Basic and say, well, yeah, you know, they've got like a, you know, a list of uh, commands to do different things. Easy GUI goes far beyond that. For example, I created a number of custom controls that don't natively exist in Windows, but are built into the engine. Uh, for example, a, a lot of applications today, re you know, it's, a, it's I think, a, an advanced feature when you have a property list control where you can select properties and change the values and so forth. Uh, that's not native to the Windows. You know, that, that's a custom control that has to be built in order to use a third-party tool uh, or control. And with EasyGUI, you know, I built that in. Uh, I built in uh, a turtle graphics control, which is a vector uh, drawing, an MCI control, which helps with a lot of the multimedia. It makes multimedia really easy to use.